Hi, welcome to our second teaser. We are six days away from our launch. 1st of October, ArchMars will be uh, let loose on the world. And this is 5.8.2. It's in a virtual box. So I'm going to start it so you can time how fast or slow it is. It is quite fast indeed. And there we go. We have um, three desktop environments now available. We boot into XFCE because uh, our vision or my vision is that Arch Merge is more a distro for Linux enthusiasts and we want to learn and want to play around with it and with game in it and so on. But how do you do this, this step, this move from Windows to Linux? Well, I think XFC is a good start. First off, as you can see, there's already nice wallpaper. Conky is not available, but then uh, Beginner in Linux doesn't know what the conkey is, so it's not there. The plank is here, it looks quite nice, but of course, like you probably know already, you can move it around and put it on top, and so on. You can do whatever you want with it and other designs and all that. That's not the reason of the tutorial. But anyway, it's, it's, it's playful, you can tweak a lot of things, you can change a lot of things. I've done already a lot of things, you can, as you can see, this is transparent. Icons are all made and so on, and all the icons are okay. They work uh, out of the box, and everything works. There's always going to be an icon that's not working. We've made it easy for you. I can quickly show you that. It doesn't take a lot of money. A little, little program we added for you guys. These software engineers make hard coded paths, and the problem is that these icons do not follow. Little program you run, and then done. Everything looks okay. It was here somewhere that this icon, this one, I, I guess it was. And that's done already. So these minor things that bug people because of a few software engineers that hard code their icons. Um, that's an, an issue. And I have explained it on the website. Maybe a good thing to go to the website, which is, well, actually, I can, the better way to show you that. And that's the way here, Arch Merch Hello. So if you want to know some information about Arch Merch, then straight away you are in the need to know all the things you need to know about the conkeys. Some of the conkeys work with fonts, so you have to install fonts. That's why you see these ugly letters or fonts, and that's because you haven't installed them yet. Lua for graphical things, clickable things, and here's the information about the icon. So do read the essence of your system. And that's my goal. It's gonna be an, uh, a system where um, you can learn stuff. That's the goal of Arch Merch. You play around in XFCE and then you say, hmm, I think I know XFCE now. Everything is just fine and dandy. Um, I wanna try something else. And then the, normally the problem starts. Oh yeah, I've, I have to log in again, my extensions in my Firefox, all my documents, and so on and so on. No, nope, no problem, because you're in the same system. And then you can move from XFCE to Openbox. And then you say, okay, let's try Openbox for a moment. And then when you, you know this, this XFCE thing, then you say, okay, I know nothing about systems at all. Because then again, it's completely different system, different menus, and so on. Um, so you have to learn this desktop environment again. We've cleaned out our menu uh, since last uh, video. We've uh, cleaned it out and reorganized it again. The conkey is now straight away here. And there is no more LibreOffice here um, because we get these... Um, Questions about users, oh, why is it in English? Well, because everything is in English, but sometimes um, the program like an office um, suite, we want it in French or want it in German and so on. So I've, I've left it out. The only thing you have to do is just type in and we'll learn that and that's the idea. You just type in LibreOffice or something like that. There are others. And then you take a look at all the things as possible, all the languages that are possible and you choose your own language and be done with it. That's maybe a better approach than force you to install uh, an, an English version. 
Um, what else? Well, a lot of things has, have changed. The OB menu generator just works fine. Uh, as you can see, our icons are there. And there is this need to know here as well. So information about this release. You can go again to the same page and maybe look for open box if there is information there available. There is also info about the 6.0 release, open box, and there's a part here in XCE. But what interests maybe people coming from Arch Labs is what did we install extra on top of R2D2 and what did we left out, what did we leave out, sorry, for um, to compare. Okay, so no polybar again, no Rofi, but just the plain things, a tin 2 and open box. Just um, check it out, what this page will be and um, a keeper, I guess. Uh, but anyway, you shouldn't bookmark it. It's there, it's available, it's a button to click and done. So all the releases will go on there and all the information and maybe tutorials, a little link to a tutorial and so on. Here is the homepage, the forum, if you want to ask something, and a Facebook page, Google Plus, and tutorials that are coming later. Not sure if I'm gonna make them on this website or on Arch Merch. For the moment, it's pointing them here. Last but not least, if you know all of this and you had fun in Openbox and learning that, there are already, um, I may, it's necessary maybe to point out that if you want to learn more about um, open box already now then it's quite easy you go to youtube.com slash i don't know if i can reach it like that let's see yep that's it playlists i have uh, one video for arch merch but Arch Labs R2D2 is 62. This Arch Labs is 167. Just telling you guys that all the information that's available here already in this uh, long list, 159, 159, yeah, uh, tutorials are all about Openbox. And whether it's named Arch Labs or Arch Merch, doesn't matter one bit so all this information is already available if you want to learn there is no uh you shouldn't uh, be hold back or anything i mean there's enough information to fill lots of evenings for uh, for that so arch labs that's my previous uh employer let's say my previous project and now i'm moving to arch merch so all these videos will be re uh, well, re-recorded will be um, the topics will be organized and I'll make new ones. So, last but not least, the third desktop is of course i3. So, exit open box again. We can log out, restart, all kind of buttons, normal buttons, let's say. And then we go to i3 and we say, let's take a look at that and see if we understand that. And that is a completely different um, system or desktop management. It's a tiling manager, not really a desktop, but it's so how you call things like that. So you have to learn how to move around, you know, to, to make changes and all that. It's all uh, quite difficult to, to learn, but it's fun to learn. It uh, takes a lot of patience. Again, lots of tutorials. We have here the valley here, and the, you know where it is. And then you have this, um, maybe here as well, can point you here to Eric Dubois. There's a lot of i3s and it doesn't matter. It does not matter if it's on Arch Labs, Arch Merge, on Telegos, Arch Linux, Linux Mint, Souls. It doesn't matter. i3 is i3. Any tutorial you read or you listen to is uh, interesting because it's all working with i3. And it, it differs a little bit from time to time for installations, surely. But usage, it's all the same config file and there are settings inside. You can edit the settings and change the settings. Any of these videos are good. And I don't know how many there are, but I do believe I have a lot of information available. Page two, 
and again I scroll so I don't know how many pages these are articles there are but a lot so feel free to learn already about i3 if you want to open box you go to the playlist of Arch Labs and XCEX FCE I don't think I have made a lot of tutorials about it but you can check out Linux Mint I think there are XFCEs in there as well with calls XFCEs XFCE again and desktop like this is available as well so Antergos XFCE Linux Mint XFCE Arch, Arch Linux and so on you take a look and see what is possible with XFC it's also a very fast uh, desktop environment and can be tweaked a little bit and I've done already that when you installed it so now I'm not getting out of the year you can see here we have to do something super shift Q is quitting and super X is exit so I want to exit log out and then we're back at the login screen and you choose whatever you want this one is not not interesting it's these three that you need and if you go back you are back in AFC so that's another overview another teaser about uh, our as uh, arch uh, merch but um, we'll be waiting another six days to see um, if everything is okay we've made some changes I'm going to test it out and then uh, it's going to go online the 1st October. All right, um, I think that was that. I'm looking at my paper here, I think I've said everything I want to say. The only thing maybe I uh, it's interesting to say and to point out that making all these things uh, sounds easy and but it's also very time consuming so I wondered if maybe you could uh, don donate me a dollar or two something like that um, so we can get break even in this project hosting websites and so on all right cheers